What's going on everybody? Welcome back to College Kids Cars. It's episode four. I'm your host Matt Eden and today I'm here with Armand in his 2009 S80. All right, man, so how'd you get the car? Can you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, so I'm a junior now at Ferris, but I came here as a freshman, and uh, I'm originally from Hong Kong, so this is like I had to buy a car when I got here. Sure. So I wanted a car that I could do a couple trips back and forth, so I wanted like an executive type sedan, something that could do long distances. Mm -hmm. So I started looking at V8 sedans, and I went through the usual Mercedes E-Class, BMW 5 Series, and I saw this for sale, and I was like, oh, it says V8, that's like a misprint or something, but I actually did have a V8. I took it for a test drive and I loved it. It was super comfortable, very quiet, and had the most optional equipment of any other cars I was looking at. It's got some pretty big wheels on it. Yeah, I, uh, this is my third set of wheels. The Michigan potholes haven't treated me kind. <laughs> uh, I actually had 18s on there and I, and I bent one, I shattered one of them in Detroit. I was like, all right, that second set, then a third set. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, you know, I'm start, tired of breaking 18s. If I'm gonna break wheels, I might as well break 20s. So now I'm on 20s. Nice. Yeah. So you got some window tint? Yeah, I have a couple of, like, a lot of little things done to it. Being my daily, I didn't want to go crazy with mods, so sure. it's mostly just things to make it more, like, nice to drive. Like and cosmetic little, and little Yeah. Things. All right, so we got the hood pop here. Uh, there's a lot going on and not a whole lot of space. Yeah. Tell me a little about it. Yeah, so um, this is a 4.5, uh, 4.4 liter V8 developed by Yamaha, and the first thing you notice about it is that it's transverse mounted. The reason they did that is so they could have more frontal space here, so in an accident, because we all know Volvo's obsessed with safety, there's more of a crumple zone. Sure. Um, it's also a 60 degree V8, which is a super unusual, so there's a balance shaft to smoothen things out, and that brings in the angle even more. Well, it looks good. So you got a nice black interior, a little bit of wood paneling. Mm -hmm. You said you replaced it all? Yeah, so the original, this is the executive trim, uh, which comes with this glossy wood. It's really high sought after, it makes, like if you bought this car new, but I didn't like it at all. So I replaced it with this, what they call modern wood, which is slightly like matte and off, off black. I did that with the center console, it has an aftermarket head unit. The, it used to have like the walnut wood steering wheel, again, really chunky and big. Sure. Um, but I replaced it with the R-Design steering wheel, um, R-Design cluster, which basically just gives you one big LCD color screen, transmission temperature gauge. Other than that, the interior is pretty much stock. All right, thanks, Armand, for showing me the outside. Let's take it on the street. All right. It, the reason this has a V8 is just so we can, like, you know, comfortably cruise and mm -hmm. be smooth while doing it. It's not really designed to be fast, but right. which is ideal for what I wanted because um, my previous car was an R34 and it was, you know, had a State Street clutch, really loud exhaust. Um, just not daily driver friendly at all. Just really in your face yeah, all the time. In your face, it's like so uncomfortable to drive and all those things. But so this was a nice, like, refreshing thing to have the exact opposite. Thank you guys for watching episode four. Come back next time for episode five. Uh, huge shout out to Armand for showing me your car. I know. Thanks for having me. Don't forget to like it, subscribe, leave a comment. Come back next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.